MaxSurf and Chip Constructor work well together. This first video shows how you can transfer hull surfaces from MaxSurf to Ship Constructor in order to create shell plates in the hull module. You model the surfaces as usual in MaxSurf, a series of NURB surfaces, and we recommend you use the Rhino file format to communicate with Ship Constructor. If you choose the export command from the file menu and choose a Rhino 3DM file, then you can create your Rhino file which will contain the surfaces in your hull. You save that 3DM file and then we'll switch over to Ship Constructor running inside AutoCAD as usual and create a new hull drawing. Inside that hull drawing you can use the hull menu and the import command to import the Rhino file. We select the file that we created and SC hull will show a preview of the surfaces that are available in that file. The surfaces will be listed in a list at the left of the dialog here. On the right hand side of the dialog, when we select a surface, you can see that this tolerance field becomes active. Here the tolerance is set to one millimeter. If I tab away from that field, Hull will recompute the number of points that are required in the surface mesh in order to achieve that desired accuracy. So to achieve an accuracy of one millimeter, we require 138 mesh points transversely and 180 mesh points in the longitudinal direction. If I repeat that for a series of surfaces, you can see that different surfaces need different numbers of points in order to achieve the desired level of accuracy. However, these surfaces have been bonded together in MaxSurf, and so we want to make sure that they're going to align exactly along their longitudinal edge. So by double clicking on these numbers here, we can manually override the number of points in each direction on each surface. And if we make the number of points along the edges the same, then we can be sure that those meshes created in hull will match exactly along their edges. The last thing we need to do is select the surfaces that we're going to import and turn on the option to just import the selected items. When we click OK, those surfaces will be extracted from the Rhino file. On each surface the mesh will be created and those series of surfaces with their meshes will be displayed inside hull. If we take a look at the mesh we can see when we select a surface that uh, it aligns nicely with the other surfaces that are in this model. And uh, what we can do is we can select all these surfaces here and use the surface properties command to increase the number of mesh lines that we can see here. So I'm going to make all them the same. And now you can see if we zoom in more closely, the surfaces align along the edge and they have exactly the same number of points so that we get good continuity where they join. It doesn't matter if they have different uh, accuracy transversely, it's the longitudinal direction we're interested here to make sure that they align exactly. Those are now ship constructor hull surfaces and you can create plates and mark lines on them as usual and be confident that anything that runs across the surface edge will match exactly. It completes our demonstration of transferring surfaces from MaxSurf to Ship Constructor. Thank you very much for watching.